Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to go over how to create a lead in Salesforce. To start, what is a lead? A lead in Salesforce represents a prospective client, or in other words, a potential customer. These are people that are interested in your product and service, but haven't shown enough interest to commit to buying your product or service yet. Sales reps will work leads in hopes to convert the lead into an opportunity. I'll go over opportunities in later videos, but for now, just know that an opportunity represents a likely sale when a lead is just an interest that a potential customer has. So let's go ahead and create a lead. I'm logged into a Salesforce playground from Trailhead. So to start, there are two ways that you can create a lead. The first way you can create a lead is by clicking on the drop down arrow next to the lead tab and you can click new lead. The other way you can create a lead is by just clicking on leads. This pulls up in Salesforce what's called a list view. So off of the list view page, you can click this new button. From here in this org, I actually have it set up where there's record types, which I don't want to confuse anyone. That'll be explained in later videos. For now, I'm just going to click next on online. So from here, we should fill out as much information that we can about the customers. So I went ahead and filled out all of the lead information in the various fields. You really only have to fill out the required fields, but with any lead, you should try to get as much information as possible because that's how your sales reps will work the leads to try to convert them into future opportunities. So after you're done filling out the information, we'll just click save. And now our new lead has been created. So from here, this is the lead record page. As you can see, there's various features and I'm not gonna go too far into all the features because they in themselves can be their own video. But you can see from the activity tab that you can log a call, create a new task or a new event, or even email the new lead. If you click on the details tab, you can see all the information that we input about the lead. So congratulations, you've created your first lead. That's all I have for today's video. If you found this video helpful, I'd appreciate if you give it a like. And if you're not subscribed to the channel already, please subscribe so that you're notified of future content that I put out. Thank you all for watching today, and I'll see you in the next video.